Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract integers using a number line. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, a couple of very important points at the top of the screen. So when we subtract a positive integer, we move to the left on the number line because we are decreasing in value. When we subtract a negative integer, we move to the right on the number line because we are increasing in value. Now that one can be hard to understand, but I still remember when I was taught this, something that stuck with me and helped me understand. Think of subtracting a negative as taking away debt. So when we subtract, we are taking something away. So if we subtract or take away a negative number, we are turning that into a positive because we are getting rid of the negative or debt. So something to think about as we go through our examples. Let's jump into number one where we have five minus seven. So we start at a positive five and we take away a positive seven. So we are going to decrease in value. We are subtracting a positive integer so we need to move to the left. So we'll start at positive five here and we need to subtract seven. So seven to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we end up at negative two, and that is our answer. So five minus seven gives us negative two. On to number two, where we have negative one minus negative four. So we are subtracting a negative integer. We're actually going to move to the right. We are going to be increasing in value. Remember, think of this as subtracting or taking away a negative number as taking away a debt. So we'll start at negative one and we are going to move to the right four spots. So one, two, three, and four. And we end up at positive three, and that's our answer. Now, when we subtract um, integers, we can also think of these problems as adding the opposite. So adding the opposite would look like negative one plus the opposite of negative four is a positive four. So negative one plus four, you can think of it like that as well. So again, you can think of problems subtracting integers as adding the opposite. On to number three, we have negative three minus six. So we are subtracting a positive integer, therefore decreasing in value, we need to move to the left. Or we can think of this as adding the opposite. So negative three plus negative six. So either way, we start at negative three. Now I only have the positive numbers on that number line because it was too jammed with the um, odd numbers as well. So we are in between negative two and negative four there, starting at negative three. Now we need to move to the left six spots. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we end up at negative nine. So our answer is um, negative three minus six equals negative nine. And lastly, number four, we have negative seven minus negative 10. So again, we're subtracting a negative integer, therefore increasing in value. We are taking away that debt or loss of negative 10 there. So we'll start at negative seven and we need to move 10 spots to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we end up at positive three. So this equals positive three. And remember, we can think of subtracting integers as adding the opposite. So if that helps you kind of visualize and think through these problems, that works too. So we can think of this problem as um, negative seven plus a positive 10. So there you have it. There's how you subtract integers using a number line. 
I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.